Dear students, what happens in Cahill cycle? When the muscles are contracting, the muscles will utilize the glucose. The glucose will become pyruvate. Now that pyruvate will trap ammonia. Which ammonia? Whenever the muscles are flexing, the muscles are contracting, the proteins may have to go for breakdown because of wear and tear. And those proteins will become amino acid and those amino acids will liberate ammonia. Now that free ammonia can be toxic. When the muscles have produced pyruvate because of glycolysis, the pyruvate because of glycolysis will react with the ammonia present because of the degradation of proteins in the muscles to become alanine. Now that alanine will travel through the blood and enter into the liver. And in the liver, that alanine will go for deamination to become pyruvate. That pyruvate will go for gluconeogenesis to produce glucose. And that glucose will come into the blood and again enters back into the muscle. So what is exactly happening? Muscles are liberating alanine. Alanine goes into blood. The alanine is going from the blood into the liver. In the liver, the alanine is capable of becoming pyruvate to become glucose. Glucose is entering into muscle. So what enters into muscle? is glucose so muscles will be given glucose for proper contractile function at the same time the muscles will be cleared of the toxic ammonia whenever wear and tear of muscles happen by removing the ammonia in the form of trapped alanine this is the function of cahill cycle